Thank you, Mr. Chairman. So last month, President Biden made the historic decision to cancel up to $20,000 in student loan debt. And this is going to deliver life-changing relief for as many as 43 million middle-class, working-class Americans. It's going to be nurses and truck drivers, nail technicians, and millions of people who were not able to finish their degrees. So while families are breathing a sigh of relief, corporations that made billions of dollars off a broken student loan system are now busily laying new traps in a shameless last-ditch effort to try to line their pockets. Navient, one of the world's largest and worst loan servicers, is now leading the way. According to reports, immediately after the cancellation was announced, Navient sent multiple emails to borrowers encouraging them to refinance their federal loans under Navient's private lender, Navi Refi, with the promise of lower interest rates. Now, Ms. Gittleman, your organization has a long history of protecting consumers from student debt scams. So I want to ask you, let's say a borrower decides to take Navient up on their offer and refinances their federal loans with a Navi refi tomorrow. What would this mean for cancellation under President Biden's plan? Thank you, Senator Warren, for the question. If they refinance with Navi Refi, then they will essentially be replacing their federal student loans with a private student loan. Because only federal student loans are eligible for cancellation, that means they may no longer be eligible for that cancellation. That's a huge loss for borrowers eligible for cancellation, but Naviant only mentioned this in the fine print at the bottom of those emails. So they could be forfeiting ten dollars to $20,000 worth of debt cancellations. In other words, right after the president announced student loan cancellation, Naviant sent out notices to people who could be eligible encouraging them to refinance so they would not be eligible for debt cancellation. Now, we don't know at this point exactly which borrowers Navient sent these emails to, although I have sent a letter asking for more information from Navient. But it appears that instead of sending borrowers information to help them get the cancellation that they may be entitled to, Navient pushed borrowers toward loans that could at best, complicate their ability to get cancellation. Ms. Gittleman, does Navient make more or less money if its borrowers get their loans canceled? The future of Navient's lending business depends on its ability to take the most creditworthy people with federal student loans and refinance them into private loans. Every borrower who is debt-free as a result of President Biden's action is one fewer prospective customer for Navient. More broadly, the better the deal the federal government offers borrowers with federal student loans, the less opportunity Navient has to sell people its private loans. So I just want to underscore what you just said. Every borrower who is debt-free is one less borrower for Navient to profit from. I think, I think that was a fair summary. Is that right? So no wonder Navient is trying to steer borrowers away from cancellation. Look, this is outrageous behavior, and it's why I sent letters to Navient and to other loan servicers yesterday asking them what steps they're taking to ensure that consumers receive timely and accurate information about their loans and their eligibility for cancellation. By the way, this is not the first time that Navient has been caught trying to take advantage of borrowers. Between 2009 and 2019, there were at least 10 incidents where Navient or its corporate predecessor, Sally May, was accused of or fined by federal and state regulators for actions that ripped off borrowers, including steering borrowers to repayment options that actually made it harder for them to pay back their loans, failing to report borrower complaints, and harming disabled veterans' credit reports. Policymakers need to keep a close eye on servicers to ensure that borrowers are protected as they await debt cancellation, and I'm going to continue fighting to make sure that happens. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thanks,